Hi guys, I gotta make this quick. I've got therapy today, physical therapy today. Okay, so how come every time I comb my hair it looks like I haven't touched it? I mean, really? Looks like I have I slept on it or something. I didn't put hairspray on it today. Anyways, I'm at my therapy and I'm just waiting. Anyway, so let's get to it. So my mistakes with hippie, which was the previous malignant sick, twisted, demented narc that I knew. Boy, did I find out how sick he really, really is. My biggest mistake was misconstruing my body's messages. I never felt comfortable around him, never totally felt comfortable around him. Um, I had massive butterflies in my, st massive birds in my stomach. And I thought it was because I had a crush on him. And it wasn't because of that. I misconstrued my body's messages to me. The real reason I felt that way is because my body was warning me let me let that sink in. My body was warning me to stay the hell away from him. And I misconstrued the messages. <sighs> so I forged ahead and that was a mistake. Boy, was that a mistake. Um, anyway, so I stayed with him on weekends and that was a mistake too, but we'll get to that in a minute. Um, anything you will notice that anything you want to do, the narc is too tired to do or... I'm not really in the headspace for that because I have a presentation at work, if they even have a job, because a lot of them don't, um, which means you, if they can't get their act together and don't be involved with them, they're still a child. Um, although narcissists are children too. Severe arrested development. Anyway, anything you want to do, there's always a reason. Honey, honey, the list of excuses is longer than the, mile, the, the um, Nile River, the Mississippi River, and the Missouri River combined. That's how many excuses they have. They never run out of excuses. Their most common excuse is, I'm tired, I'm tired. You need some iron if you're that tired. Get your blood checked. Anyway, wow. Uh, so, so I'd stay with him on weekends, like I said, mistake. And I wasn't allowed. He didn't really feel comfortable with me playing with my cell phone. He'd be laying down and I'd be playing with my cell phone. And that kept him awake. The light from the cell phone bothered him so he couldn't sleep. I couldn't go in another room um, to play with my cell phone because you need to be... He, because The real reason is because he don't want nobody creeping around his house. In his mind, you're creeping. In your mind, you just went to another room. Um, they do have schiz. A lot of them have schizophrenic tendencies. Everybody's after me. Um, I'm a, I'm being targeted. Uh, people in my house are trying to steal from me. You know, the whole bit. Yeah, I got to keep an eye on anybody who's in my house. You don't trust nobody in his house. Then why do you allow people in your house? Why don't you just stay single and, and be a hobbit, hermit, whatever. So couldn't use my cell phone, couldn't go in another room because he felt like he had to stay up with me, which is, it appears to be a gracious thing. I'm going to stay up with you so you're, you got company. And that wasn't it. It was a control thing. I told you they're obsessed with control. Couldn't use my cell phone, needed to go lay down when he did, which is asinine. You don't tell adults when to go to bed. I tolerated a lot. These are, as I said, these are mistakes that I made. Okay. Um, I had to go to bed when he did. I remember getting up in the middle of the night one time to go get a drink. Don't you know that son of a bitch got out of bed and went to the landing and hung out at the landing waiting for me to come back upstairs? I am serious. I am not joking. I am dead freaking serious. I'm dead serious. Never wanted to go where I wanted to go because he was just too tired. Tired, I say tired. Not tired, tired. I just can't do it because what I wanted was irrelevant. We hung out with some friend with my friends and then and family members. And then I said, let's go to Cooper's Landing because that's where they were going afterwards. I don't want to do that. I'm too tired. The That's one thing I love about being single. I could go where the fuck I want to go when I fucking want to go there. Anyway.
He stopped cooking meals at his house because he didn't want to use his precious groceries. And there were plenty of times I left his house hungry because he's stingy with food and he's stingy with his money. So I started buying my own groceries. Okay, so here's where... Uh, I'm being vulnerable right now. Don't y'all get... I mean, point fingers at me. I already know I was kind of not really using the best judgment. That's why I'm sharing these vulnerable moments with you so that you don't make these same mistakes. If you can't be yourself at someone else's house and you can't um, play with your cell phone and you got to go to bed when they go to bed and you can't get a drink of water because they're watching you, it's time for you to, to get out of prison. I was in prison. I was in prison. He didn't run around the house when we were at his parents' house because if I stole from them, that's fine. Plus, he didn't want to run around and look like the fucking lunatic that he is by chasing me around his parents' house. I actually got to use the bathroom without someone following me. Where are you going? What are you doing? What are you doing? What are you doing? And then one time, you y'all saw him on camera, but I got rid of it because I didn't want his ugly ass on my channel anymore. But at one point, he was on camera. I was making a video for you all, and he came in the room and did this little stupid shit. <sighs> because he was spying on me. And that was his sissy, stupid, asinine attempt to so-called scare me when he was spying on me. Do you see how loose of a cannon he is? Do you see that? A lot of narcs have nar uh, schizophrenic tendencies. Paranoid as hell. Paranoid as hell. Anyway, I gotta get going. Uh... What else? Mm. I think those are the main ones. I bought my own groceries. He would at least cook the groceries, cook the food. Because, like I said, he didn't want me dipping into his groceries. Um, at one point, I wasn't allowed to have dinner. I, listen, listen. Okay, you ready? He didn't want to make dinner because, well, you had a snack earlier, didn't you? Do you see the psychosis that's in this person's head? Do you see the lack of graciousness towards someone in his house? Anybody who's ever been to my house or had dinner at my house or we had a barbecue or whatever we were doing, anybody who visited, you ask them, if you have the ability to ask them, did you ever feel like a guest in her home? Did you feel like a welcome guest? They will all tell you, yeah, oh yeah. They didn't leave my house hungry, but I'm not a stingy, psychotic narcissist either. So, you know, um, yeah, I'm trying to think what else, cause I gotta go. Uh, those are the main things. Uh, when you have to buy your own groceries because you're not really welcome in that person's house, there's your sign. I mean, there were so many freaking signs. And believe it or not, my videos serve as a reminder to myself not to put up with that anymore. So I do, I do go back and watch my own videos. I'm going to tell you something else. Uh, his wife was not permitted to park in the garage. Y'all heard me. She wasn't allowed. His wife that he was married to, how she, how she married him, I don't know because I could never do it. You can't pay me to marry that ugly thing. But... She couldn't park in the garage. She wasn't allowed. And I'm pretty sure she never had a key to his house either. He don't want, he can't handle you being in his house when he's not there. I don't care if you're my wife. You will never have a key. You will either get home when I get home or you will sit in your car at the park and wait for me to get home or whatever. But you will not be in this house without me. Because he did that with me. So you know you did, he did that to his wife. He's par paranoia is not going to disappear because you said I do. It's going to get worse. I remember seeing a picture of his house. And it was painted, I think, or something. Or, or, or had vinyl siding, whatever the hell happened. They, whatever. And I saw a car. He showed me the house. This is how it was before. This is how it was after. And I saw a car in the, in the, um, in the um, driveway. My shoulder's killing me right now. Uh, and I said, whose car is that? He said, Sarah's. That was his ex-wife, or his wife, when they were married. 
She wasn't parked in the garage. When I made a joke with him and I laughed my ass off, I said, so she's got to sit outside on the curb and wait for you to come home from work. Did you ever give her a key? And I laughed so hard because, of course, that's the stupidest thing in the world. You don't give your wife a key. And I laughed because it was ridiculous because I could imagine him not giving her a key. He never laughed. He never laughed. He, he didn't think that's funny. She didn't have a key to her, her own house. So even though you're married to the demon, nothing's going to change. I'm still going to watch you like a hawk, and I don't trust you in my house. Even though when we're married, it's our house. It's my damn house. Nothing changes. Just because you're supposedly married. You're married in your mind. You're, he's not. This person's not really married to you. Only married on paper. That's it. That's only... Nothing's going to change. I'm going to still ride your case and watch your every move because I don't trust nobody. Because I'm a schizophrenic in addition to a narcissist. So, uh, threesomes. Let's talk about threesomes. Uh, Hippie was never going to be faithful. And he encouraged her to indulge in threesomes. He encouraged her to go to naked campsites. He basically chipped away at her entire identity to make her become what he wanted her to become, which is what they do. You lose, you, you lose your, your whole being. Um, your whole identity you lose messing with them. So <clears throat> he encouraged her to, to have naked, uh, you know, sex at, at uh, naked campsites, sex in front of other people. Yes, yes. So he looks like the man tapping his wife in front of everybody and it's just sick um he made her become everything that he wanted her to be he got her into bdsm which is what he's into he turned her into his slave and he was the master he chipped away everything encouraged her to have threesomes had threesomes with him her and his ex-boyfriend she probably didn't want to do any of that, but she didn't know how to say no. So a person with no boundaries and no ability to say no is perfect for a narcissist because by the time I finish with you, you will look in the mirror and you won't know who the hell you are. The threesomes served a purpose too. I want us to get comfortable with threesomes so that when I have an affair on the side, it's not really an affair per se because we've had sex with other people in front of each other. So if I do it behind your back, it's not a big deal. We've had threesomes with this person. So what's the big deal if I sashay over to their house after work and get waxed? Hey, we've done threesomes before. What's the big deal? I know you weren't invited this time, but eh, don't worry about it. I'm just opening the door to the dark closet so you can see what's actually inside. He made jokes when they had a get together. He made jokes in front of uh, everybody about his wife and said, okay, well, I got to go home and get her naked or I got to go home and, and throw her down and or whatever, something sexual to humiliate her in front of everybody. Everybody don't need to know what you're going to do with your spouse. They could probably figure it out. He did it to humiliate her and to make himself look like the man. I'm the man, even though he's more woman than I've ever been. But I, I got to let everybody know that I'm going to tap this ass later. Really? It was to embarrass her and make himself look like the tough guy. He's going to look like macho man. No, you made yourself look like an idiot and you made yourself look like a wife abuser. Mm. That's what you really did. You made yourself look like a, 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 a woman abuser. So those are the main things that I could think of off the top of my head. If I think of anything else, I will put it in the description. Like I told you guys before, if there's something I forget, I remember it after the fact, I will put it in the description. Because sometimes I get up, you know, finish making the video, and I think, why didn't I tell them that? So if I forget, it'll be in the description. Those are the main things off the top of my head that I could think about that he was so obsessed with in regards to control. It's a sick bastard. I'm so glad I'm away from him. You guys take care. Much love. Talk to you later. Love you. Bye.